first base? Yeah, uh, quite a bit of it at practice. Uh, so just trying to get some work in there. How's it, it coming? I, I think pretty good uh, so far. Uh, just trying to, it's new to me. I've never played it there, so it's a big change. Uh, fielding ground balls from uh, fly balls, but you just got to take your reps and get used to it. How about, how about the footwork aspect? Obviously, you got to get your foot on the base and yeah. all that stuff. Uh, that, I think that's the easier part. Uh, just because, but it's just all the different situations that can happen at first. There's so many different plays you have to practice, so it's just getting good at all of them. Bunt coverage, a big, big problem or a big adjustment for you? Yeah, for sure. I've never been a part of bunt coverage at all, so learning the different rotation or the wheel plays and all that has been a big play for me, and, you know, it's just learning them and memorizing them, so that way when we have to do it, we'll get the job done. Do you know if you're going to play first base tomorrow? Uh, I have no clue, but that's that's what I've been playing in the scrimmages, so I guess we'll see. Has it affected your hitting any, trying to you know, adjust to new defensive position? No, nah, uh, uh, just wherever I play on the field, my bat will still be there. That, that's that's why I'm in the lineup is because I can swing it, so that's my main priority is the hit, and then I'll play defense wherever I am the best I can. When, when did Dave first come to you and say, hey, we want to we want to give you a look at first base? Uh, I think it was after the end of the year. He talked to me a little bit. He was like, we'll just see what happens. And I came in the fall, and uh, he was like, told me to start taking some ground balls at first, and then he got me a glove. And after then, I just started doing it quite a bit since then. So you what, got what, any pointers from Ezel or anything? A little bit. Ezel's actually been up around here doing his rehab. He torn his ACL, so me and him have talked a little bit. But main thing he just told me is don't make errors and catch the ball. So. What, what, what percent of your practice time has been at first? Would you say like all of it or most of it? Uh, I'd say most of it because the outfielding, you know, I, I've been able to do that for so long that I can go out there and take fly balls whenever, whatever. But <laughs> fielding ground balls or turning double plays from first, I need to take a lot of reps so I can be good at it. So if they need me there during the season. Are, are you just well enough you'd feel comfortable playing first at, like in the, during the season? You think? Oh, yeah, for sure. I'd, I'd feel comfortable there, especially after getting the whole fall. The first few weeks of the fall have been definitely weird trying to get the new position down, but after you do it for so long, you'll get comfortable there and it'll be your new spot and you'll like it. I know this game doesn't count, but you know, I'm sure practice can get kind of monotonous. How exciting is it to get to play an exhibition, especially against the you know, big 12 school like Oklahoma? Oh, it's really exciting. We all get kind of tired of facing each other. Some pitchers get some hitters' names and some hitters have the pitchers' names, so you're glad to go face someone else, someone new. and almost have some good competition out there and just play a real game where it's win or lose and everyone's on the same team. I guess one of the reasons you're getting some work at first is so all the young guys coming in and playing in the outfield. What have you thought about those guys and how they've been doing so far? Oh, it's like every year. There's a lot of talent that comes in the freshman class and there's a lot of kids that can play and it's just about them finding their role or where they're going to help us out in the team. You know, any team that's going to be good or go to Omaha, there's going to be freshmen that contribute, so you're, you're always going to need them. They always help out the team a lot. Any of them in particular standing out to you so far? Uh, we've had like Blake Adams on the mound. He's he's pitched really well for us, and then there's been a few hitters that have been hitting the ball well, but hitters, it's kind of hard to tell for two weeks. The best hitter could be going dry for the first little bit or just whatever. Let's take a little bit more of the fall to see those pan out. What, what do you thought from the pitchers you faced in practice? Well, oh, I think they've been doing really good. I think Connor and Wicklander have came back, and they're doing way better than how they finished the season. They're going to be a big part of our pitching staff this year. So, And then all the other guys that came back, they're all kicking it up a notch, which is good for the team. And pitching is going to be a big part of this year as it has every year, and they're looking good. Well, when Dave came to you about playing first, did it surprise you, or kind of what was your initial reaction? Uh, it didn't surprise me a little bit. He's, he's a baseball wizard, and he knows what he's doing. So... I was just listening to him, and whatever he says, I normally do. So he's like, you should take some reps. So I was like, okay, like he always knows best. And, you know, right now, at first, I didn't know why I was over there. But as I start playing a little bit more, I kind of fit into the position well with my size and my athletic ability and all that fit well over there. What was it like uh, playing for Team USA or something? Uh, it was a great experience, you know. It was, it was fun to wear uh, the USA across your chest and uh, play with some of the best players in the country and get to know them. That was great time and you know it's one of those things where it's totally different uh, playing on a team like that but it's just bringing back those experiences to help out kids here. Yeah, but how much you think it's helping Connor to go through fall ball with you guys because he didn't get to do that last year? I think it's going to help him a lot. Last year he just got thrown into the flame a little bit and 
he handled it well. I, that was probably really tough going straight into college baseball. I never got the experience to fall. And I think this fall will give him a little bit of time to actually work on and develop his pitches a little bit more. Because last year he just got thrown into the flame and it was just sink or swim. And he just had to find something that worked quick. But now I can work on a little bit more and be ready for spring. You hit really well with Team USA as well. I mean, do you think you've kind of carried that over into the fall? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think it's just kind of... Uh, the approach wise, you know, it changed my approach a little bit and I've just been trying to repeat the same thing and just keep improving every at bat. Do you feel like a first baseman now, not an outfielder or a uh, player? Dude, I, I don't think it changes really. It's just baseball player, all of us out there, we just, we just mainly want to hit and we want to defend our spot that we get stuck at as good as we can and it's, it's just the same baseball game just from a different angle. So you say Anytime. you should do what Dave tells you.